No, go back over there because you're wet. Go. You shouldn't have been outside playing in the rain. It is cold in here. Hey, let's see how many people come on today because it is kind of late. I was going to go live on the TikTok, but I kind of like, I'm trying to get the light behind me. There we go. Okay, we got Jersey in the house. Jersey. Um, I was going to go live on the TikTok, but I was like, you know what? I be liking to go live on YouTube. I don't know. It's something about YouTube just be a whole vibe, y'all. Y'all be vibing over here. It don't be as many people over here as it be on the TikTok, but I'm okay with that. We still just be vibing. I don't have anything to talk about. Um... I guess I'm just kind of asking questions. Okay, Chicago. Chicago. Okay, Missouri. What part of Missouri? What part of Missouri are you in, child? It's a little delay in y'all. Um comments i wonder if the comment like if i get on the live as like a bystander can i see the comments quicker because it'd be a, a, a huge delay i feel like okay we got florida malden missouri where the hell is that i ain't never heard that before i ain't i ain't never heard of that place before you gotta tell me where that's it Okay, St. Charles. The family is good. Everybody's good. Mobile, Mobile, Alabama. Is it Mobile or Mobile? I think it's Mobile. California, Louisville, Kentucky. We are in Louisville often. We're always passing through, either passing through Louisville or... Or got something going on in Louisville. Shreveport, period. Have y'all seen the new vlog, the uh, track vlog? Okay, we got somebody from Jamaica up in here. Okay, Jamaica. Listen, I did want to take a trip to Jamaica. But child, all the stuff that I'm hearing going on in the Jamaica with um with these... um um. What is it called? Damn, why do I be losing my damn words all the time? I'm finna go watch that now. See you later. <laughs> Siri, it's like two hours from you and your family. Two hours? I have never heard. Is it the country? Is it? Is it like country, country, country? The sticks? Started watching, then saw you. <sighs> what you hearing? What do you mean? Oh, what I'm hearing. I'm a little, I'm a little slow. Um, that they, they be that you got these um uh, people getting raped and all type of stuff in the Jamaica. The fun police were sending me videos about it, and I was like, ooh, that's scary. Aaliyah wanted to go, tourists, yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Aaliyah wanted to go to Jamaica for her 21st birthday, which will be in January. And I was like, child, I don't know if you, I don't know if we're going to know Jamaica. I have a country accent. That's that St. Louis accent, I guess. Resorts are safer route in Jamaica. And see, I ain't, I'm not a resort person. I, I just, I like to be outside the resorts. But only now, if we're not traveling with the fun police, I for sure will would stay. Like if it was just like me and the kids, I will for sure stay in, on a resort then. But as long as fun police with us, I'm not staying on a resort. It's a fun police culture for Alexis School now. Yes, they pretty much put a gun up to his head and made him do it. Um, no, for real, he didn't want to because fun police don't have time. He just really don't. I think he does have a passion for coaching, 
but he just don't have the time to do it no more like he used to back in the day. Um, so yeah, they was like, oh, you know, it'd be better for you to be able to get on the field with, with Alexa. And mm -hmm. so he was like, mm, I guess I'll do it. People that's not from Jersey always make us sound like people from Staten Island. <laughs> Oh, is that, is that what it is? Joyzy. So that, that's not how y'all talk. Okay, my bad. <laughs> um, let's see. Y'all are the sticks. We are not the sticks. The sticks is like when you live. Now, I do. I stay in the semi-sticks because I don't live in St. Louis. I'm like... 45 minutes outside of St. Louis, outside of like, I'm like, I'm almost an hour away from downtown St. Louis. So I live sort of kind of in the sticks, but it's not, not really. The sticks, when I say sticks, I'm meaning like you live in the country, like where the houses are miles away from each other and everybody got horses and cows and donkeys. And that's what I ref I'm talking about when I say the sticks. I don't, St. Louis is not the sticks. <laughs> St. Louis, the neighborhoods in St. Louis, you can literally reach your hand out of the window and touch the house next to you. Not my neighborhood, but most neighborhoods are. When watching a new track vlog, I was like, where's the fun police? Then you show him on the field pushing something. I was like, oh. <laughs> Y'all, that was funny because he was so struggling trying to get them, them um, hurdles over to the other side of the track. Y'all saw him, you seen him when he was like trying to run. <laughs> I don't know why I was laughing at his pain. He was getting a workout in. A win is a win, honey. A win is a win. So, yeah, fun please be out there coaching other people's kids. Now, I haven't seen him coach other people's kids in a while. He used to coach before. When I first met him, he coached for summer track. And then he started coaching for a high school and then he started coaching for a private school. And then once Lexi was born, um, I think was that no, when Lexi was born, he did that season, that coming up season, and then he did one more season and then he stopped. You've been going to that to that gym. What gym? We call South Jersey, Alabama. <laughs> really? Because it's straight country. Forms and forms and animals. Definitely the sticks on 25 minutes from New York. Wow. Yeah, I'm in the semi-sticks. I'm in the sticks, but really close to everything. Because our houses in our neighborhood is far apart. They're not miles far apart. Like, But we're, you know, we're not like right next to each other. And then the house, when you first pull into our neighborhood, they have a donkey and cows. But you don't always see the cows because sometimes they be switching them to different parts of the field. So when they have them like in the field where we can see them when we turn on our street, they're literally right there. Like you drive it and it's like, bam, cows. When we first when we first moved over here, one of the cows was a baby and he literally, hey, Ornella, he literally was running um, along the fence like a dog, a little baby cow, whatever you call him. I don't know the name for a little baby cow. It was a baby cow, honey. But he was running uh, along the fence chasing our car like he was a dog. But they got a whole donkey and everything. Yeah, they have horses and cows. Oh, it's a calf. See, Arnella, you was paying attention in school, girl. Good job, because I didn't. I didn't. I ain't going to tell no lies. That's why I ain't go to college. No, ma'am. No, nah, let me stop lying. I tried. I tried going to college. It just didn't work for me. Try Whole Foods. They never let me down. Whole Foods, the close whole, hold up, whole Foods is like 40 minutes away from me. We got plenty of them. You stay in the country, Ardella? I would have never known you stayed in the sticks. I prefer 
the sticks, but I don't want to be so far in the sticks where I can't get to everything. Like my neighborhood makes it feel like we're in the sticks, but we're still five minutes from Walmart. Five minutes from Walmart, the grocery store, restaurants, like we're right down the street. Now, where we built the house that we're selling, that house is about a good 15, 20 minutes to everything. Like that's how deep in the sticks it is. The middle of nowhere, Mississippi. Did I ever know that you live in Mississippi? It is raining. It's raining. Yeah, I wish the quality of this daggone camera on the MacBooks was a lot better than what it is. I mean, the amount that you pay for these damn computers, you would think that the, the, the camera would be high quality, and it's not. So, yeah, I was just like, let me go live on the YouTube for a little while. My first job, 40 minutes away, and my second job, an hour and 20 minutes away. Girl, it's time for you to move. <laughs> it's time for you to move, girl. If I move from the tri-state, it would be to Los Angeles. Really? The South is too slow for me. I don't like it in Los Angeles. I, I don't mind going and, like, visiting um, L.A., but I couldn't live there. I was looking for the track blog since yesterday. Is it a, today Wednesday, right? It, I supposed to put them out on Wednesdays. Y'all, my computer did not want me to put that video out. That's why it's so late and it's just now getting out. My bad. My apologies. I'm from Alabama and it's not as country as everyone thinks. I'm ready when I get back in school. I'm definitely getting away from here. I don't blame you because that's a long drive to be going to work. I I like it. I have to be somewhere where it's slow pace. Um, I can't be nowhere where it's just like just too much going on. So like Houston, I feel like Houston is just too much going on. Um, Atlanta, too much going on. Um, where else? When we went to, where did we go? Yeah. Where did we just go? Boston, Boston. It was too much going on. Like it was just too. Yeah. It's deer season for you. Them deers don't play. Them deers be in our backyard, like, close to the house. The other day, it was a fox literally laying in our backyard. It was in the, like, middle of the day. I had to FaceTime the fun police to show it to him. I'm like, is that a fox? He was like, yeah, it looked like it. I'm like, is he hurt? I thought he was hurt because I'm like, why would he be just laying down in the backyard? It was, like, noon. He wasn't hurt. Because I, he said, well, I watched him for about 20 minutes, and then I forgot he was there, and about an hour later, I went back, and he was gone. I thought y'all was thinking about moving to Atlanta. No, Georgia, not Atlanta. Yes, it was a pack of them next to our house. <laughs> I remember this one time, a dude had jumped out while I was going down this road, and it had a nerve to slip and fall. How you just jumping your ass out and, and you slipping and falling? He was like slipping and falling and stuff. I was like, oh, you drove. So, yeah, I can't be in cities that are just too high pace. Like I could never even in, in St. Louis is not high pace at all. But like I couldn't even go live downtown St. Louis. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much moving around. It's, it's too much. I need to be able to walk to the poppy store or take a bus to get anywhere I need to go. I have I have a car, though. You can survive here without a car. I couldn't imagine not having a car or not relying on a car. Yeah, we have coyotes, too. The, the crazy thing about the coyotes is that we live close to a um, train track. I don't feel like them trains is that close, but we can hear it. When every time the train comes, we can hear it. And especially if they like honking a little thing, we can hear every time we hear the train. If you get if you get real quiet, you can hear the coyotes in our backyard howling. At first, I thought it was somebody dogs, and then we found out they're coyotes. 
Not you hit a big one. I know it tore your car up. Yeah, I couldn't live downtown. I live in Houston, and they always got construction going on somewhere. I couldn't live in Houston because it's just too, too many people. Too many people. Same thing with Atlanta. That's why if we go to Georgia, it's definitely going to be like where we live now. It'll be like an hour outside of Georgia or something. I stay kind of in the country. Not not really. I'm not really in the country. Houston is hot. It is. Humid. I like Tampa, but the fun police don't like Tampa. The kids don't, the kids don't like Florida. Like they don't want to live in Florida. And start with some good food. It most definitely did. I was so hurt. Ugh. I love Tampa too. I like Tampa. Especially Clearwater Beach. Clearwater Beach was such a vibe. I like that the North actually have four seasons. <laughs> really? Now, I know why Lexi don't like it. Lexi don't like it because of them bugs. What is that? Are they love bugs? Hey, April. I'm talking kind of low because the fun police is asleep and he's going to be getting up in a minute. Um, So I don't want to wake him up before his time. But it's, it's a season where these big ass bugs be everywhere. And we took Lexi to Disney World and it was during that season and she about had a heart attack. Like when I tell you, I was so mad. I was walking through that park going all. I'm like, we spent all this damn money and this damn girl out here scared of some fucking bugs. Yeah, they was black. They kept on saying, somebody told me that they're called love bugs and I think they're mating. So it's like two bugs stuck to each other or something. But what we did, we ended up leaving. We left. We Like, she got on one ride, and we left because she could not take them bugs. When I tell you poor Lexi was walking through that park, like, <laughs> it made me so Yeah, I was pissed. I wanted to whoop her ass. I wanted to whoop her ass. That's how mad I was. I said, we leaving. And then somebody else, because we was there for a cheer competition. And another mom was like, oh, no, just wait until the sun goes down and take her back. So we waited. And when the sun went down, we went back. And they and we didn't have no problems. And she ended up having a ball. We missed the parade and everything. I was like, this damn girl with these bugs. I live in Michigan, and I could go my whole life without ever seeing snow again. <laughs> it do rain in Florida, but it's not light. I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? It rained. Okay, you wait a little bit. Rain is gone. It's full of them love, love bugs. Yeah, Lexi, she ain't she ain't going for the love bugs. Mm -mm. So I don't think the kids would want to move to Florida. Fun Please don't like Florida. Um, so we would never move to Florida. We would never move to California. For one, the price of living in California is ridiculous. Like, no, thank you. No, thank you. And if we we couldn't find no good food in Cali, what threw me off was the fact that I don't see one person with an umbrella. Right? Hey, Sharissa, Sharissa, however you say it. Sorry if I said that wrong. I feel like I need to turn this light off behind me. I'm trying to like hide it with my head. I think you would thrive in LA. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. Why why do you think I would thrive in LA though? Like what what is it about LA do you think will be beneficial for me? I know for a fact that we are eventually going to have to relocate. If we continue to grow, um, like on social media and stuff like that, if we continue to grow, I'm going to have to leave Missouri. Like, because Missouri is holding me back. Like, there's no opportunities for influencers or content creators in Missouri. Like, it's just, it's not. 
how did the fun police get his name? I always wondered that ever since I started watching y'all. Um, it, it started off as a joke. Um, he's like, he's a protector. He's a natural protector. So anytime that we're out, um, he's, he's just always on, you know what I'm saying? On protector mode. And he, he it's like, he can't enjoy himself because he just got to always be. So like one time we went to, we went on a cruise, me, him, my sister, his brother, her, his wife, the kids, um, and me and my sister had got drunk. Y'all, we got super toasted, right? The kids were in the room with each other. You know, the kids were doing their thing in the room. We was at this all white party that we didn't even know what was going, you know, that it was going on. So we was on our way back to our room and we stumbled across a party and they was turned up. Okay. When I tell you me and my sister clowned, we was on the stage. The DJ then gave us the mic. We in the mic rapping Cardi B. Um, I was, I was in a twerk competition, straight clowning whole time fun police got his hands crossed and he's standing back in the cut just watching with a straight face and it's just like nigga if you don't come dance on my ass or something and 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 take the little you know what i'm saying like loosen up a little bit it's okay just loosen up a little bit like jesus you don't have to be a bodyguard so it started off as a joke where i start referring to him as the fun police a nice one bedroom in North Jersey is two thousand to twenty five hundred. Mm. Then you don't want to move to LA. You don't want to move to LA. He be on body uh, bodyguard duty. I could see you going to influencer events stuff like that. I already go to events. I go to influencer inv events. Um, I've been to quite a few of them. I just have to travel there. I have to fly there. So that that part sucks. But, you know, ain't nothing for me to, to catch a flight. When I went to the TikTok event in um, Georgia, in Atlanta, I flew out like that afternoon and flew right back home that late that night. Y'all, I was intoxicated and everything because I had been taking shots. And I'm like trying to get to the airport. <laughs> I was towed up. Luckily, I made it home safe. I would never tell the fun police that because he would be so upset that I got intoxicated and was trying to make it to the airport. I can watch you all day. Can you? Why? I was like, y'all, to me, I am so not interesting. <laughs> so I don't be understanding. I am so not interested because interesting because I'm just okay. I'm not trying to talk bad about myself. I'm just being real. To me, I'm not like what's the word? I don't do shit. I literally don't do nothing, y'all. I am at home 24-7. I don't put clothes on. <laughs> I don't, I just don't be doing shit. Would you move to Nashville? Uh, probably not. When we get another podcast, when I get another person to come on the podcast, no, for real, I am considering trying to figure out how me and best friend can get on the podcast um, virtually because she lives in Tennessee. Um, I just ain't figured it out yet. You too hard on yourself. I know, April. I know. Uh, I mean, I, I, I try not to be hard on myself, but I try to be realistic with myself a lot. Like I am very self-aware. Like I am so self-aware that it's, it's crazy. It's scary sometimes because I'm, I am not one of those people that are, you know what I'm saying? Like delusional. I'm not a delusional person unless, unless it's the fun police. I have been a little delusional for him, okay? It is what it is. But in general, I'm not a delusional person. <laughs> I was watching old vlogs I missed the other day. They're so good. Thank you. That's good to know. That's good to know. I've been trying to step it up on the editing. 
I've been learning some new stuff on the editing side. Uh, do you have networking advice as far as approaching a conversation via the internet? I am horrible. I am hor I am not a people person. Um, when I am in a room full of strangers, I am not the person to approach the other people. I wait until they approach me. You can record on Zoom. I don't know how, but it's a way. This last track me had me screaming at the TV. <laughs> you a music business major who wants to be a publicist. Oof. Sometimes you just have to just not think about it. Like, because I'm an overthinker, and I think that's my problem. I'm an overthinker. And I'm one of those people that when I do initiate a conversation in my mind afterwards, I just be like, I overshared. I was talking too much. I didn't do, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm just, I don't know. It, and then it makes me not want to approach nobody else. Um, but you have to just not think about it and just do it. You know what I'm saying? I know that sounds very cliche, but yes, anxiety, it be the anxiety you're going to have to get over that hump some way, somehow. Me, I have, okay, so how I do my, th when I approach people, it's always after I didn't drink some coffee <laughs> or had some wine. Wine is like a liquid, it's like liquid courage. When I get wine in my system, oh, baby, I'm a different person. When I drink coffee, I'm hyper for a short period of time. So I just be wanting to talk, talk, talk. Those are the times that I reach out to people. So like Dime Galore, when I reached out to her to do a podcast, I literally had just got done drinking some coffee and was just like in a good mood. And I was like, let me hit her up. <laughs> if I hadn't had that coffee in my system, I probably would have never done it. Same thing with another uh, TikToker who I reached out to. She agreed to do a podcast with me, but she hasn't gotten back to me on dates and times. Um, so I don't know if I want to announce who it is. I don't want to say who it is. And then we never do the, the, um, the podcast. I, I think I hit her up after I had a few glasses of wine and it was like late, super late. And I just like hit her up and she, and I'm thinking like, she ain't going to want to come on my podcast. Like, oh, she probably not going to answer me. And she answered right away. It was like, oh my God, I will be so, um, what she say? Um, what was her words? Y'all, what was her damn words? Hold on, I'm going to tell y'all what her words was because I can't remember. That's if I can find her message. Let's find her. She said, yeah, I'm honored. I would love to come on. Like right away. But now she ain't responding to my last message of me asking her what days work best for her because I'm going to fly. I'm just going to pack all my equipment up and fly to her. My professor said that I need to be able to turn it on and turn it off, being an introvert. And I'm telling you, this might not be the best advice. It might not be. But, baby, you might have to, you might have to, you know what I'm saying, pop back a couple of shots or something. <laughs> you might have to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I might be being a bad influence, but you might have to do it. You might have to take you a couple of shots. I'm trying to look at. Okay. That's what works for me. Unfortunately, I hate that I'm naturally a shy person. The crazy thing is, I'm not even shy. Because once you get me going, baby, I'm going. I just, I'm just not a people person. So I, so I don't know if there's two different things, being shy and just not being a people person. Because if you approach me and you start a conversation with me, oh, baby, I can go on forever with you. And I'm an oversharer because I, I'm not a private person. 
So baby, in the first conversation, you know my whole life story. If it if the conversation goes in that direction, oh baby, you know everything about me. Maybe that's why I be leaving a conversation thinking like, damn, you, you share too much. <laughs> so yeah, you say it's two different things. So yeah, I don't try the shots. Try the shots. Just see what it do. How old are you? Hold on. How old are you? Because if you're under 21, I'm sitting here telling you to take shots. I don't need that on my conscience. Oh, you're 25. Okay. Take a shot. Take you a shot, girl. Two of them. I'm not shy. I'm just, I'm just not outgoing. That's okay. Sometimes, sometimes, like, what do you do for a living? Because some things that you do, you know what I'm saying, for a living doesn't require you to be outgoing. Now, Tati, is it Tatiana? Am I saying it right? She's trying to be a publicist. Baby, she's going to have to be a little outgoing. <laughs> I just don't start conversations, and I hate the awkwardness of new friendships. Like, let's just skip to oversharing. <laughs> You got to feel people out because sometimes I I just go balls to the wall with the oversharing and I can just see it in a person's eyes that is like, girl, I didn't want to know all that. And I'll be like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have told them that. I just feel like at my big age <laughs> that I should have grown, grown this damn shyness. <sighs> it's your personality. It's just your personality. There's nothing wrong with it. You're just going to have to take a couple of shots, you know, from time to time. <laughs> or drink coffee. Do you drink coffee? Does coffee make you, like, talkative? I'm a nursing major. Oh, you you good. You good. You ain't got to be outgoing as a nurse. I mean, you can you can be a nurse. You can not be outgoing and still be a good nurse. In my opinion. I mean, you just gonna get straight to the point. You know what I'm saying? You just you gonna help your patients and call it a day. You're not gonna and then not to say that you can't develop bonds with your patients because you're not outgoing, but don't think of it as oversharing. It could have be a message that the person needed to hear. Coffee makes me chill. See. Coffee, I can drink a cup of coffee and go to sleep. But there's like a, a window, a very short window from the time I drink it to the time I start feeling tired is like maybe 30 minutes. So once I get into that window, I have to like, and I know it, like I can feel it. And I know that, oh, you need to do this, that, and that, and other before this 30 minutes is over because baby, you finna be ready to go to bed. Because patients, family are going to keep you on your toes for real, for real. Why are you? You want to give mommy a hug? Come on. Bring it in. Hi, boo boo. You just your mama's a boy. You was out. You was outside barking at them coyotes. Them coyotes going to eat you one of these days. You better stop barking at them. Yeah. Just your mama's your good boy. Yeah, just your mama's your good boy. He's such a good boy, y'all. Cairo is in his bed before y'all ask. His bad ass is in the bed. Tell him. Say that he's a bad ass, so he's in his bed. Okay. Give mommy hugs. Not the computer. Give mommy hugs. Thank you. All right. Enough. Okay. Get down because you, you low-key uh, You low key wet because you was outside in the rain. Okay. Don't start acting like Cairo. Because you get go get in your bed just like him. Okay. What are we doing? Weirdo? Have you tried the new matcha for Starbucks? No, what is it? What is it? I'll try it this morning. If I'm nervous, I can't drink coffee because it literally might trigger an anxiety attack. Oh, yeah, don't do that. 
Have you tried meds for anxiety? I just hate the small talk. <laughs> Let's talk about everything already. <laughs> Hi, Blair. <laughs> I be sometimes I be awkward as hell too. I be hella awkward. Cause I be just wanting to just go all in, balls to the wall. It's like, it's like I'm the, oh, they got a lavender matcha. Y'all know I like lavender. It's a lavender drink that I get from, um, what's one of them steakhouses? Uh, shit, I can't think of it. It's a lavender lemonade. It's an alcoholic beverage. Oh my God, it tastes so good. If you don't get your ass out that trash can. See, you playing with me now. Come sit down. Why would you go get in the trash in front of my face? Sit down. Was it? No, nah, not Longhorn. What's, the, what's another one? I haven't had meds for my anxiety since I was 16, but I'm going to start looking for a doctor to get it. Yeah, I would say. And I'm 100% I'm not a medication person. Like, if there is a way to, you know deal with something without meds, I'm going to go with the not taking meds. But I also understand that some stuff you just can't get around. No. What is the damn place? It's not Longhorn. I cannot think of it. That's why you stopped so many years. Yeah, even like... um. I was taking uh, Adderall for my ADD, and baby, when I told when I tell you Adderall had me a different person, <laughs> I my first time taking Adderall, I went to the gym. I was on the stair stepper. I was on that stair stepper for about a good forty five minutes straight, going fast, and didn't even realize it. Like I was on that mug like this, didn't even we're just vibing. 45 minutes go by. I'm like, damn, it's been 45 minutes. I'm like, damn. Then I came home, cleaned the whole house up. Like, I was just able to focus, like, laser focus, but then it gave you a boost of energy as well. So, like, it's, it's like, it almost feels like drinking coffee on steroids is what it felt like. Low key. I loved it. It was amazing. My issue with Adderall was it used to make me crash. So, like, what's the um, what is the the one? It's one pill, and then half of it dissolves, and then the other half dissolves later, so that you can have like a it it, it keeps you from having to take multiple pills each day. Because I think some people who have to take a pill in the morning and then another pill like in the afternoon or something like that. I would have been laid out. Oh, honey, I had so much energy. I, I was on it. But um, I guess, I don't know if my body was, yeah. I don't know if my body was just like, yeah, I don't know what my body was doing. All I knew is that around noon or one o'clock, I would crash so bad that I would be too afraid to drive. So, like, I used to have to take the kids back and forth to school or whatever. And I forget who, somebody had something going on at the school or got out of school early or something. And I tried to go get them from school. And I literally was falling asleep behind the wheel. My mother said my body isn't used to being on chill mode because I'm almost anxious. And ended up in the hospital because it triggered a really bad panic attack. Ooh, yeah. I, I tried edibles and it, it didn't give me an anxiety attack, but I think I died. I think I died and came back to life. Like, I ate an edible. So the first time I had edibles, I had way too much. And I legit thought I needed to go to the hospital and they needed to pump my stomach. <laughs> my sister made me go back to the hotel room and go to sleep. The second time, 
I had um, edibles. The fun police was with me. We was in Vegas and we had went out to eat. It was me, my cousin, and his wife. Me, the fun police, my cousin, and his wife. We had went out to eat at the sugar factory. And I had the edible right before we got there. And it, it took a long time for it to kick in. Because, like, an hour later, I was like, oh, I'm good. I'm good. Like, I'm good. But I was like, I ain't going to take another one until we get back to the hotel room. I don't know what happened in between the time, like, an hour after I took the edible and then, like, between an hour and two hours, but it was like I just went, I don't, I just, I don't, I just died. I died. I, y'all, when I tell y'all, it kept feeling like I was waking up. Like, it's so weird. The only way I can describe it is if you fall asleep and you wake up, and it kept feeling like, I was waking up like it, it just I don't know. It's so hard to explain to y'all, but it kept feeling like I was waking up, but I was never falling asleep. It was so scary. Yeah, don't do edibles no more. Mm -mm. So edibles is just not for certain people. We are people. <laughs> we are certain people. I when we finally made it. So, OK, so I didn't remember a lot that happened. But my cousin was like, all of a sudden, I was reaching over the table and like eating. He had like a, a shake that had like all this brownies and stuff on it. And I was like reaching over the table, like eating his brownies off of his um, plate. And then I don't remember nothing else. I don't even remember doing that, but I don't remember anything until I woke up the next morning and it was a Louis Vuitton bag sitting on a dresser and I'm like who went to Louis Vuitton and the fun police was like you bought a wallet last night because I know in Vegas those stores stay open some some of them stay open pretty late and he said that we went to the Louis Vuitton store and I picked out a wallet and bought a whole wallet and I don't remember I don't even remember going into Louis Vuitton yeah I, I got mine from the dispensary too in Vegas. No, I, I still got them damn edibles. They in the safe. The fun police locked them up in the safe. And that was like, shit, two and a half years ago. I wonder if them things still any good. I'm going to go in there and look at them. He, he sure locked them up in the safe because he didn't want the kids to accidentally eat them thinking they was candy. And that was just, I, all I had was one. I had one edible and was straight losing it and lost my mind. I got some glue behind my nail that I'm picking off. Yeah, them them um edibles is something different, honey. Something different. I tried it twice and it just it wasn't for me. Well, I take that back. I'm sitting here lying to y'all. When I just went to Mexico, when I went on that girls' trip to Mexico. My friend Teresa cousin had some edibles and it was like, it was some, uh, it was a gummy spider. It was a spider, but it, you know, it was an edible. And she picked off like one of the legs to the spider and gave it to me. And I ate that. And I was like, that's not a lot. Like I should be cool. Baby. I think I died again, but it wasn't as bad. It wasn't as bad, but everybody was still up laughing, joking, playing games. I couldn't. I went and took a shower and got to bed. My friend Teresa said that when she came in the room, because we shared a room, she when I when she came in the room to go to sleep, she said I was laying in the bed like this, sleep. And she said, "Bitch, I had to walk over to you." And I was like, "Is she dead?" <laughs> no, it's not a different ring. This is just the band. I've, I've been wearing my band only because for some reason, my other ring been making my finger break out. Like it's been making, it's like eczema. It's like my skin look like eczema up under it. And I've had this ring for six, seven years or something. And it's never done that before until just recently. I'll still stick to my social drinking. Yeah, I, I'm a social drinker, but I'm a wine drinker. I love wine. 
wine, I don't know, it just gets you right. All I need is about two glasses. One glass, I if I take if I drink one glass, I'm chill. One glass of wine, I am chill, I'm good. I might even go to bed. I'm a sweet wine person. I don't like dry wine. <clears throat> but if I drink two glasses of wine, oh baby, I'm <laughs> I'm good to go. I'm up, I'm walking around talking to people I ain't never talked to before. I'm a whole different person. It's the water that gets under the ring. I sure was wondering, like, what the hell? So I just been wearing the band lately. I got to wear something because if I don't wear something, he going to be saying something. I ain't got time for it. I used to want to get a tattoo here. And he actually took me to get a tattoo on my ring finger. But the tattoo place, the dude at the tattoo place talked me out of it. He was like, it ain't going to last. Like, it's going to fade too fast. What's a good recommendation? I, you know, so I'm not, I'm a wine drinker, but I'm not a wine connoisseur. Um, so I, this is what I do. And it's going to sound real, like I'm a real alcoholic and I promise I'm not. But when I go shopping for wine, I like red wine, red, sweet red wine. When I go shopping for, for wine, I am that person standing in the aisle. Picking up every thing of a wine and turning around to see how much alcohol is in it. Anything that's over like maybe 10%. Oh, baby, I'm buying that. All that wine that's like 5%, that shit is juice. It don't do nothing. I used to like, uh, I think it's called, is it Diazzi or something like that? They Moscato is in a it's in a blue bottle. Oh, I it, it tastes so good. I still like it, but it's just it take I have to drink too much of it to get a buzz. Oliver's soft red is a good sweet wine. Oh, I'm gonna have to let me look it up. I feel like I've had that before. I feel like I might have some of that in my wine uh, uh cooler. Hold on, let me look. Let me see. <clears throat> Cause that sounds so familiar. No, I haven't. They don't. Eh. No, I haven't had that. I might have to try it. Dornfelder. Let me look that one up. I haven't seen that before either. I love a good red wine, though. Let's see how much alcohol it got in it. 9.5%. Okay. Mm hmm That'll do it. That'll do it. Try Stella. It's good. The cans and the bottle. I think I have. Do I have some Stella in my wine cooler? Stella Rose, the black. I have some of that in my in my um wine cooler. After drinking wine, I need like bottles of water though. <laughs> but Stella Rose is juice. I used and it and it could just be me. And I don't drink often at all. At all. Like I probably drink wine once every other month or something like that, if that. But that's still a rose. I, I can drink. I drank a whole bottle by myself and was chilling, like wasn't buzzed or nothing. I think Stella Rose got like five percent alcohol in it. Yep, it's five percent. Sweet Marcella. So y'all got me looking up all stuff. Let's see. I'm a visual visualist. So literally what y'all telling me, I literally can look at it one time. And if I see it in the store, I'm going to remember it. Do I have some of this? What was it called? Let me find your comment. 
the sweet Marcella. I could have sworn somebody said that now. Now I can't find it. Have you ever tried a port wine, sweet and strong? No. See, y'all hipping me. Oh, I see it. Sweet Marcella. I Yeah, I ain't never seen this before. Nope, I ain't. It look like a burr bottle. Shoot. I need to re-up because my wine cellar was packed, like full. And then I had I hosted a few little gatherings here and I haven't restocked since then. Dorn Felder. I'm gonna try it. There's a wine called Sweet Bitch. I feel no, I haven't heard of that. I was gonna say, I feel like I heard of that, but it's a different one. What's the one that's it's a black owned company? Um, and it's a sweet wine. I need to go to Total Wines. I might go to Total Wines tomorrow. It's in a pink bottle. And I cannot drink, I can't drink certain like cheap, like wine that's too cheap. That shit would give me an instant headache. Good wine is a is definitely an investment too. Yeah, I have not I have not like went and purchased like super expensive wine, but you know how you have like the bottles of wine that's like five dollars and shit like that. I can't drink those. Those those give me a headache instantly. But no, I haven't gotten and dibbled and dabbled into like the expensive expensive wine. I ain't made it there yet. My maturity level ain't made it there yet. I'm going to get there, though. But I'm going I'm to try all of those. I'm going to go looking for them. But, yeah, I am a wine girl. When we go to dinner, I'm going to order me some wine. The crazy thing about it, though, is most restaurants that we go to, they never have um, sweet wine. The only sweet wine they be having is Moscato. I like white more than red. Cooper's Hawk. I have some Cooper. I do have some Cooper's Hawk. That was the Cooper's Hawk was given to me. I want to have I drink all of that. I want to go look, but I don't feel like walking away from y'all. And I'm not going to lug this computer with me. I got too much stuff oh, attached to it. That's my charger. Let me put that back in there. I got my external hard drive attached to it and stuff. I don't feel like doing all that. But yeah, I, I've had the Cooper's Hawk. I just don't know if I have more. Somebody gave it to me as a gift. Did you ever go wine tasting? Yeah, I go wine tasting at the little wineries. That's about it. The local wine, it be killing it. Like, I, I'm trying to see what local wines do I have. I wouldn't even be able to tell y'all the names because I don't remember shit like that. I don't remember names off the top of my head. But I, I think the sweet wine, the sweet red wine that I've had, the best has been the local stuff here in St. Louis. But of course, you know, I just finished the vlog. When did the fun fleece become the school coach? Child. <laughs> We still laugh about it, even us, me, me and him. We be laughing about it. Every time I go to a track meet, I be laughing at him. I wanted to go when I turned 21, but that was in 2020. You haven't been? You got to go wine tasting. I can't wait till the wineries open. I love going to the winery. It's one winery here. Oh, I can't remember the damn name. I don't even remember names to nothing, y'all. But I know what it looked like and I know how to get there. That's all that matters. But it, they have the best views. And on certain days, they have a band there that play like the old school, like R&B type music. I just love, I just go get a nice little table, looking out at the view, the music be playing, order me some sandwiches, maybe some dip, get some wine. It'd be a whole vibe. 
how to drag my sister and brother with me. Yeah, you got to go. You definitely got to go. Just finished the vlog. Lexi did great, but sometimes she can give herself a break. She did amazing. I know. And you know what? It's just that passion. And I was like, I can I can respect her passion because Aaliyah, y'all, Aaliyah used to make me want to whoop her ass. I used to legit want to get a belt and whoop her ass because she would do horribly and then walk off the track like, hmm, hmm, whatever. It's not a big deal. <laughs> it used to make me so mad. And I don't know why that used to irk me so much, but it used to make me so mad. But, and then Leah, outside of practicing and going to meets and stuff, Aaliyah, she didn't like, she didn't research nothing. She didn't, you know, she didn't try to look at her videos to see what she can work on, what she, you know what I'm saying, what she can critique. Lexi, Lexi be watching track videos. Lexi be looking at her videos. She be having that shit in slow-mo. Lexi know like times that she got to make it to the first hurdle. Lexi know what her, her uh, touchdown times are. Lexi know all of that. Leah, girl, Leah don't know that shit. She don't care enough. I want to be dressed up real cute. Yes, you got to be dressed up real cute. You got to be when you go wine tasting. Yes. No, Lexi is not going to run the 4 by 4 regularly. She, Her dad, did, he, he did that just to get them girls in shape, just to, you know, give them a workout. Yeah, Le Leah is so nonchalant. She should talk about track on the podcast. Let's see if I can get Lexi on the podcast. I don't know. Lexi or Leah or both. I should have did track instead of dance and softball. I feel like track is getting recognized a little more now. I don't know if it's because of us. And I'm not, y'all, I'm not tooting my own horn. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, nobody knew about track and tell us. I'm not. But I'm calling a thing a thing. Ever since we really started really like pushing track and field on TikTok, on YouTube, it does seem like a lot more people are, they are getting a little more involved and it could just be coincidental. It could be, but I don't know. I don't have the legs for track. Why you say that? My school used to come back from pen relays with mad medals. <laughs> Yeah, like people just don't support track and field. That's just like the track and field athletes, like the pros, they don't get paid for real. The only way that they're getting paid is if they're winning. And of course, if they're winning, they get like endorsements and stuff. But how often do you see um, track athletes? with big endorsements like you they they have they do they have them like you know you had Allison Felix with the whole Nike situation and then how Nike tried to play her you know that's a whole different uh story but how often do you see track and field athletes on a cereal box or uh on commercials like it's very rare because they just track and field athletes just don't get, you know, the recognition that I feel they deserve because a lot of people just don't support the sport. I've torn both ACLs. The level twice, girl, what the hell you was doing? Jesus. Oh, when we was in Louisville. <laughs> I think sometimes having older siblings make younger siblings more competitive. I think having, I think Lexi being the youngest and her watching us fuss at Lennon and Leah, Lexi, she ain't trying to be fussed at. She was like, let me get on my Zoom. <laughs> I wanted to run track after I saw. Lolo Jones run in Beijing in 2008. Having siblings, period. I'm the baby. I hate all-star cheer. I hate all-star cheer. I hate all-star cheer and soccer. I Those were just the two sports that I sucked it up because they wanted to do those sports. So, of course, I was going to support them. 
But the whole time I complained, not to them, they didn't hear me complain, but I complained and fussed. I was miserable. Going to freaking cheer competitions, this shit was miserable. Seeing all these damn people walking around with these big ass bowls and these sparkly ass costumes and these catty ass mamas. Cheer moms are horrible. Off subject, but have you heard or been to a breakfast spot called The Shack? Yes. I've been to two of them. We have one kind of close to us, and then there's another one a little further out. No, Lexi never wanted to be a swimmer. The sport is so toxic. It is. Gymnastics is toxic, too, though. The, the stuff that my child had to deal with in gymnastics, and I didn't find out until she retired, and it's, it was nothing ever geared towards her because I think um, that's why you have to be present for your kids, and you have to... You, you have to show up and you have to be very present. You have to be in their face, like not in your kid's face, but the people that are working with your kids. You have to be in their face and you have to let them understand that you are not to be played with. Because if you want them parents that they think they can play with you, they're going to play with your kid. So they never did anything directly to Lexi because I think they knew that I would have blew that whole motherfucking gym down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It would have been in jail. However, she had to watch the way that they treated other gymnasts and how toxic they were with other gymnasts. And then it got toxic for Lexi because here she is, the only black little girl um, competing in most of these meets. And y'all see Lexi. Lexi is very powerful. Um, her legs are very muscular. Um, when Lexi was eight, when she was like, she, she probably, no, she was around eight and she was doing back handsprings, hearing the parents do, when she would do a flip, they would be like, oh my God, wow. And then when they would realize our mom, they were like, they'll be like, she's so powerful because she's so strong and she's so powerful. She used to have so much power that they used to have to teach her how to tone it down because to do a back handspring, the child was about to fucking flip out the building. It was like, you're just doing one handspring, girl. Just just tone it down. They had to, they had to teach her how to, um, she had to learn her body. She had to learn her strengths or whatever. But I say all of that to say is that her skill level was a little higher than the other white little girls that she was competing against. They were all getting high scores, but Lexi kept getting low scores and she kept trying to figure out why. It would be other parents from other teams that wouldn't agree with the scoring that Lexi was getting. They would literally be in the audience like, what? Okay, that's not fair. Why would they score her like that? Oh, her score should have been bigger, you know, more than that. And then I finally had to explain to her, it's because you, you're black. You're in a white sport. That's it. That's an explanation. And it would be different if it wasn't happening at every freaking meet. And then I was thinking that maybe we the problem. I'm like, maybe we the problem. Maybe we just thinking our kid is more than what she is. Like I said early on, y'all, I'm very self-aware. I'm very self-aware. So I'm always checking myself to make sure I'm not overreacting or, I'm, you know, I'm not thinking I'm more than what I am. So it was one meet. And some of y'all probably heard this story because I tell the story all the time. This is the fun police. <laughs> Interrupting me. But anyway, I tell the story all the time that she went to a meet. She was the first person to do her floor routine. She got scored in the sevens. Lexi had never been scored in the sevens before. So we like, damn. But I was like, okay, I ain't gonna trip. Let me see what they scored in the other girls. So they had scored the other girls after her really low. So I was like, okay, they just the judge is tripping. They 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 scoring hard today. And then all of a sudden they start changing the scores. So we like, why are they changing the scores? And they said that the judges thought that they were competing, that they were uh, um, on a higher level. So they they assumed that they was on a higher level. So they were scoring them because if they was on a higher level, that meant that they was missing skills. So that's why they all were being scored low. They changed everybody's score except for Lexi's. And their excuse was, oh, we knew, we knew what level she was on. 
But she, Lexi on the same level as everybody else. So y'all knew what level she was on, but y'all didn't know the level of, of nobody else. So everybody else's scores got changed to nines and shit like that. And Lexi's was still in the sevens. So that's when I knew that I was not tripping. Why is he playing? Okay, East St. Louis folks love to go to St. Louis for the shack. Do they? I didn't know that. That's why I think she'll be a great swimmer. She might, but she's never showed any interest. Yes, that I swear they used to say the same thing about Lexi. And Lexi, they and everybody else had been in gymnastics since they was four. And Lexi walked in at the age of eight. <laughs> Being the only black girl in the room all the time is still something I deal with. Yes. That's because he played too much. <laughs> he literally in the next room, yeah. The Olympics are supposed to be paying winners 50K this year and relays got to split it. Winners. Winners. So it's like when you are a track athlete, it's not like you're playing like you're on a football team or a basketball team um, where everybody on the team is getting paid something. Some might be getting paid more than others, but everybody is getting some type of check. It's not the same with track and field. I don't watch the WNBA, but I probably start. If um, what's her name? Caitlin, is that her name? If she if she goes into the WNBA, I probably will start. I don't know if she is, because y'all seen that. What's his name? Ice Cube had offered her five million to come play in his league. Girl, Caitlin, if you don't go take that five million, Miss Ma'am. So yeah, that's why Lexi doesn't do gymnastics anymore. But I knew my baby was destined to be to be to do some type of sport. They used to want her to cheer. I was like, absolutely not. I took her to open gym where Le where Leah was cheering. I took her to open gym and she was in there doing fools and all that type of stuff. The coach was like, where did she come from? Who kid is this? Why is she not doing cheer? They start walking over toward me, uh, towards me. Mm -mm, you might as well turn back around. No, we're not doing no fucking cheer. But it was, they kept laughing at her because she'd be like, she'll do this fool and then she'll end it like this. <laughs> It was like, you're a gymnast. She's like, mm -hmm. So everything she did, she ended it like this. Can't blame her. She deserves better treatment. That's how they got me. Mama didn't know no better. Yeah, I was like, no, no, sir. You should go to a game. It's really fun. I've invited people to games. They've never been before, and they had a good time. Yeah, I plan on it. I plan on it. Yeah, the phone police is a damn mess. She said she got a bump. Where? Girl, you can barely see that bump. That's my friend. Talking about she got a bump. These pictures are cute. Ah, Caitlin. Caitlin. I can watch Caitlyn play. I want to beat this geek one day when someone's son. <laughs> 20 
22 years, y'all. Yesterday was our 13th wedding anniversary. Been together for 22 years, married for 13. But I had already said that I was only going to stay on for an hour because y'all know I would talk on here all damn night. So I am going to go to bed. Make sure y'all watch the vlog. I also just um, um, posted a new TikTok too. It ain't nothing, nothing too much. It's a little something, something. Fun, please say you're giving us too much attention. Right. Brandy, I didn't even see you in here. You must have just got here. I know the nails is still nailing. So I'm going to go ahead and get off y'all. Um, I, I had already told myself that I'm going to try to do more lives on YouTube. I'm going to try to do some lives on TikTok too, but I do want to start doing more lives. I used to go live all the time, and I really haven't been doing it lately. So I do want to start doing more live. So I will be back. Okay. Good night, y'all.